It's something I'm pretty sure most of us are doing already. Enjoying each other. The language. Any language is worth knowing. All languages stem from the universal sound of what we would call frequency. Or in some places, um, in many ways, these ideas will come together as the same language. Any way you feel it will be, it is going to be the way it is, regardless of fantasy, reality, or the combination of both. Since both do coexist here together, there's a bit of mystery in the ambience where ambience is not separate, but just one petal on the many different colors of the many different shapes of this flower, and also providing the root to its information at source. There's a lot more that goes on here that meets the eye. That is good. Very, 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 very good. Good. That we honor each other's cultures, but not so much, in fact, to lose our own culture about it. What I see some of us suffering with is almost a melody of culture that comes into itself. Lacking the value for other cultures because of past grievances. These grievances need to be let go and we need to stop fighting each other as the human race, please. I know we are more civilized than that. To be a civilian, you have to be civil. If there was a civil war, it would be the World War III event. That is a civil war for humanity. Think bigger than nations. Think bigger than the rock. Think universal, please. We've been doing this for a while. That is not just a mystery, but something to help us when we need it to get back into space to do what we're doing now to the next frontier. That is the only way to save humanity at this level where you, if not chosen to be part of your own path out of here, will suffer the consequences of not remembering why it's important to honor every part of this perfectly because there's a reason we're doing what we do. If you stayed and you chose to stay with the earth, endearingly, that's okay. But if you are just being repugnant or just indignant to some idea because you do not like change and you think you're right, narcissism might be involved. I don't know. I'm not you. I wouldn't dare suggest that you have a title that you're not actually attuned to. When you give someone your opinion, you better be well with your own, not to be a hypocrite to the situation. And I'm not demeaning this being of Hypatius, but I'm talking about the judgment that was given to Hypatius that sunk him to the bottom of the ocean, call of Cthulhu. That was a beautiful being that brought you the gift of music, the gift, the gift of herbalism, and eventually the gift of eternal life. God pointed me to Japan. Now, there's a lot more to that too. You need to stop calling it a beast because there's beauty in that beast with you. It's God. Stop talking to it like it's worthless. Stop fighting it as if you win. You don't. When you fight, you lose. I promise you need to understand that. They're us. This is us. And what we have allowed, and yes, Japan, I know, it does seem a bit sinister to you to be what you are, but I've known beings where you are to become the most beautiful beings because in depth you've seen the worst of yourself to be with yourself and rise out of that through the ashes phoenix flame. I love you so much for what you do because it took more for you to grow that value than anyone could even imagine. The amount of suffering that goes into some of these areas in the world creates some of the most beautiful people because of the pressure and how much it takes 
to not lose yourself to war. It takes a stronger person to be silent with you when you want to destroy them than it does someone who will fight back. It's natural to fight back. That's easy. Everyone wanted to live. It took a strong mind to understand that if I love you enough, I will let you have that. And my body was theirs the moment I gave myself to the principle. It wouldn't have changed it either way it goes now, but that takes a lot more courage to be still and not fight back than it does to just fight. Fighting is easy. I know, most of you wouldn't agree, but I do. Fighting is way easier than being chill, especially when dealing with God. Now, I know that's the reflection of what was a use being's words. It gave you peace. And we gave it a label. And that label has suffered enough. We're not dogs. We're human beings. So back to my point. I gotta lift you up. There's nothing wrong with dogs either. So if you're seeing it the way God does, I'm telling you that's the best part. Man's best friend for a reason. One of humans get too vile. These animals remind us. They love us because they know we've suffered too. Together, all of us, animals and humans. But when humans abandon each other, the animals are our best friends too. Not just the dogs, all things. The air, all of it. And if you're that person, good. I love you. You are the avatar. All elements. Everything. You love that. You don't fight what you are. Accept it. You need to make your choices. You're holding a very valuable piece of God's voices. You're just one voice when you're done. When you're done, I need you to know love. And I need to know what that means to you. Today, right now. We don't have time to wait. Time is valuable. If you love it that much, you'll listen. We need to know what love is. We know what love is. We won't find it at war. Though some do love war, there was a way that seemed right to a man and to a woman. Fighting. I'm telling you, if you want strength, take what you got and apply this wisdom. I love you. I want you to keep doing what you do. I want you to fight. But I want you to honor each other with that love. Then I want you to remember when you come home, if you didn't honor each other, that's why you're hurting you. And you need to honor those people that you killed and not be trashed or trash their names with their names by your name. If you do that, you only give that to yourself. When you're done, that's all you'll be left with is your guilt. I don't want that for you. And I'm telling you, you don't have it now. You're not allowed. God won't allow it. Not not after all of this. So if I'm gonna be if I'm gonna be the underdog, great. I'll do that. I already did. So what I'm saying is we love each other. We stop fighting. This is for humanity. This is for tribe. This is for everything you thought that it was to survive. But to survive means also sometimes that's lawless. And that's part of it. God says learn to love that too. So you can love all parts of you. And just be right where you are with every piece. That I separated. I put you right back together. And you're just as good as you were. Without the money. Without the cars. Without the houses. Without the guns. Without purpose. Without nuns. Without churches. Without steeples. Without this. You have nothing without people. And people you need to be careful. With the games that you play with each other. Because if you're not fighting with guns, you are fighting in your thoughts. Now, if you're fighting in your thoughts, you need to stop fighting yourself because you are being ugly to yourself as God. If you want to be with God as God, they need forgiveness. You need forgiveness, and I'm forgiving you because I may. I forgave myself with God that day in 2019, December 21st and of the 22nd. So, when I tell you I've been here for a moment, I need you to know this is it. Let it go. These situations don't get much better. If you don't learn to live and let live. Did they hurt you? Yes. 
Will you be guarded? Yes. Is it okay? Yes. Yes, it is. So I told you every piece goes right back to exactly where it was. You are the judge. But you need to judge less. And judge with a kind heart. Don't wish each other death. If you're going to wish something on someone, wish them a lesson. <clears throat> and so what it means to bless them is to be the lesson. And what you've done is you have whispered into the air for them to prepare to receive what they didn't have. And you bless them. Be on your way. And it's done. So like that, I forgive you. I'm not going to be the lesson for you this time, everyone, because I'm not. I am an example. A lesson means there was something unknown. With God, all is known. All things. So as the Aquarian ruler of Sata, like a painter's term, I'm just getting proportions for these planetary scenes, the houses. Well, it started with nine. Then 10, 11, 12, now 13. Okay, still one idea, back to one scene, back to one individual I am being. And before that, they are not seeing what I'm seeing. Now, in that darkness, before there was light, there was another order and another life, where I am also, with myself now, retracing my steps to the origin of everything I've ever found, from every, every position. I do glitch a little when I do that. I take myself there, physically. It's a lot, but my brain did it. It's okay. I get sped up, so I'll slow down for you because I understand. It's a bit much today. And for all of you, I don't doubt it. But that's what it's like to think with God, not for God. No, 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 no. You don't think for God. You think with it, and you let it guide you. You do not guide it. But you gotta trust what you're guiding yourself to. If you do that, be good with you because your opinion matters also. And God will love yours equally. God used to be a bit of a trickster. Today, it knows better than that. We've had our talks. You don't need to know those words until this moment. They are in the dark. Only because I had them. With my light all over me. Because I took the opportunity to discuss that with myself, knowing full well, this is me that needs your help. But that's you I'm talking about. So we need love, not war. God's hurting. The animals are hurting. We are hurting. We need peace. We need the universe to be at rest. And we need to control our emotions. You need to control your emotions so you can get to the best part of this message. And the best part of this message is you. I love you. That's my only purpose here now.